Hey guys, how you doing? It's Martin here, and welcome to the future of Optin Farms. Quite a bold statement, but I think the app that I'm going to show you today more than backs it up. Everybody knows that you need to build a list, but it's not easy. You're going to need to hire a developer, or you're going to need to sign up to some expensive monthly app. And then, once you actually do get an Optin Farm that you like, Google is going to hate it. If you go to Google now and search for any phrase, the chances are you will not find any squeeze pages on page one of the results and you certainly won't find anything at the top. The reason is squeeze pages are everything Google hates. There's no content and they don't want to send traffic to those pages which is a problem for you because Google is still your main source of free traffic. But you don't need to worry about that anymore because I have the answer. Presenting Optin Designer. Optin Designer is my brand new app which is the first true drag and drop what you see is what you get builder for opt-in forms and pop-ups. This app is really going to revolutionize and change everything you do with list building and I'm going to show you exactly how it will do that in the demo video here now. So right now I've just jumped over into opt-in designer. As you can see it's a cloud based app. Everything is done in the browser. You simply log in and you can create all your campaigns, all your opt-in forms, all your pop-ups from one easy location. I'm going to go through each step now and show you how easy it is to be up and running in under a minute. So I've just logged in here. I'm going to click Create New. I'm going to give this a name. This name is for your own reference. Just click Create New. This loads up the opt-in form here in the dashboard with all the different options here on the side. So I'm just going to go through each thing in step and show you how easy it is to work. First of all, the canvas here. This is the default pretty much the blank canvas. This is the start default opt-in form for everybody but you've loads of options here to change this. You can make it horizontal, you can add icons, loads of stuff. I'm going to quickly show you those but I'm going to really concentrate on the templates that come with our system. We've got 30 templates for you which means everything you need to get started within a minute is right there. Along the top we have our different tools. You can drag in text, images, video, you can use our built-in marketing image library or you can draw a colored box. Everything you need to build a high converting slick opt-in form. So next thing I want to show you is templates. Click on templates here on the side. This gives you a warning that it's going to overwrite the content and you'd see all of these templates fully loaded into the system. I'm going to pick one now that I think is cool and I like so let's go for this one here. Watch what happens. It loads the entire thing in your canvas and here's the beautiful part. In most other apps you see, they may be described as drag and drop or what you see is what you get, but what you actually have is a very rigid framework of kind of stacked, stacked elements. You can't drag things exactly where you want them. So let's say here you want to move your, move your logo or move this headline. You just, you just drag it around. You want to move this book, drag it around. You want to edit some text, just right click on it. Just edit it. It's that simple. You can change the font. As I just did there, you can add images, you can add whatever you want. Everything you see here, see here can be selected and changed. Here's your opt-in form. You can change this here. You can add your own custom code. Loads and loads of different options. Let's say you want to add some marketing graphics. Just drag down the clipboard icon there. Choose your category. I'm going to add some kind of a ribbon. I'm going to select this one for the top corner. We can just add it up here now. You can add text over that. Loads and loads of different options. So that's one of the templates. Now let's say you want to use a different template. You just click templates up here and pick another one. It simply embeds the whole thing for you and everything is customizable. Looking over to the right here, you see our different options. We've got our form options, which I showed you. You can control every element of how the form looks the font size, the input font size padding, colours, border, uh, border width, border roundness, loads of stuff. For the button, you can set up your whole button here, you can control the text, the font, font size, etc, etc. The pop-up itself then, you can control the background here, you can set, add your own backgrounds, you can upload your own backgrounds, you can use a colour, whatever you want. Again, full flexibility and these are just a demo of some of the templates. You can also use the default template builder to create your own from scratch and again our clipart li library has all the graphics you need to do that. Next thing is autoresponder integration. You've, we've got Aweber, GetResponse and MailChimp 
and you can also add custom form code if you use a different autoresponder you simply right click on the form and you can add your code in here and we can help you out with that as well and support if you have any problems so once you've set up your form got it looking the way you want you simply save it here and you can actually preview it as well to see how it's going to look in the browser there it is there now everything's good to go and go back out to your dashboard now and I'm going to show you how you add, actually add this now to your page. You can see the options here, you've got the edit option, the code option, which is what I'm going to show you now, the stats option, you can see how many people have opted in, and it's got a 7 day performance there for you, very useful, and you can change the chart, you can download the image, all sorts of stuff there. So if we go into code now, this shows you the four different types of opt-in, we've got a standard embedded opt-in form, we've got a two-step opt-in, We've got an optional auto open code which opens it as an overlay and we've got an exit pop-up. The beauty of this is, and it goes back to what I said at the start of the video, this makes the opt-in form be on your page but it's not triggered until someone clicks a button or until a certain amount of time has passed and that way it's not going to be hated as much by the search engines and you're still going to get the benefit of getting people opting in. Now I'm going to add a live form one that I've got on a demo page here for you just so you can see all the different functions working so I'm going to click on code here I'm going to grab my embed code and it's as simple as copy this go over to your WordPress site um, this is a demo page I've set up on optindesigner.com and you simply paste in your code like so you can paste it in using the normal WordPress text area or I'm just using the optimized press theme here and adding it that way we just click insert and here's how the opt-in form appears let's say I want to center that, so I'm just going to add a little center tag to make it look a little bit more neat for you. I imagine how long it would take to build this if you were doing it normally or if you were trying to do this with one of the autoresponder services built-in editor, it pretty much be impossible because <laughs> most of those have terrible editors and they really suck, so I'm going to save this now and I'm going to go over and demo it in the browser now if I jump into my browser you can see here this stunning opt-in page I've created in just a couple of minutes so this is it on the demo page and I'm just going to opt in here and I'll just show you how it works this is going to opt me into my list and it's going to redirect me just to the page that I've set up just back to the home page and there it is working couldn't be simpler, could not be easier I'm going to go back to the page now and show you the other options so we go back into the editor here and we go back into opt-in designer click on our code again now let's say you want to add a two-step opt-in embed code these are really high converting because when people see an opt-in form sometimes they automatically get kind of put off and they know it's a marketing page so let's say you offered some bonus or download you just simply pick one of our built-in download buttons pick this one sign up now you copy the code go back over into your editor and this could be a normal WordPress site too, I'm just using this particular theme for convenience because it uh, looks good so you paste it in click insert save your page and then we're going to go back and refresh now so what someone would see here this time is so if you type there what someone would see this time is a button with download now or sign up now you can use your own custom button or you can use a built in one and you would have your offer saying free ebook, free graphics, free discount whatever, someone clicks this and now the opt-in comes up and they have to opt in to get it and then you would set your thank you page to the delivery or you would deliver via email so that's the two step opt-in, these are highly recommended and they convert really well the next option if we go back to code again is the auto open code so another little snippet here and you can set it open by 10 seconds 20 30 45 I'm going to set it to 10 seconds just for the, the video we go back down to your editor and for this one you just add it to the bottom with what's already there save your page again back over into the editor and I'm going to refresh we have to wait for 10 seconds this time and the pop ups going to appear. These ones work really well, especially if you set it to 30 or 45 seconds because it draws someone into your page, they're reading through the content, and then bam, just like that, 
the pop up appears and really grabs their attention and really forces them to take action either opt in or click close if you have a compelling enough offer and you're using one of our select templates it's very very highly likely that they will opt in and all the, all the recent research from the various email marketing gurus out there would tell you that as well now the last function we have is the exit pop up and again this is just to capture any leads from people who might believe in your site you simply just copy the code again go back into whatever editor you're using whatever theme you're using uh, whether it be the wordpress editor or something else and you just stick this bit of code at the end click save again we go back to our page now and you would see once I move my mouse to the top of the page as if I'm going to leave there we go the pop up appears and again this is going to capture any traffic for you so that's an overview of opt-in designer working that's a real form that I've just set up earlier today and it's connected to my Aweber list we also connect to get response and MailChimp and you can add custom form code if you want another function I'm going to show you very quickly here is the split testing function if you click split test and just I'll edit this one what it does is it lets you pick between two different campaigns and it's going to show them intermittently it tracks the stats for those campaigns and then you can see which one is converting best and you can kill the other one then so it's a really good way to see which of the templates are going to work best for you or which of your saved designs are going to work for you now before I go to just the end of the demo I want to show you one last thing I want to show you some more of the templates again if we click templates here now that's that's a live template I've just been showing you let's say I want to change the complete look of that now just click that add my autoresponder info and save it if we go back back over to the demo here there you see there's the new the new page now you notice that one is slightly cut off because uh, I have to edit the code a little bit for that just because it's a slightly larger autoresponder but uh, you get the idea that's a quick overview of everything you can do in Optin. It's a great app, it's loaded with value, loaded with features and we're adding a lot more. You've got 30 templates to choose from, you've got hundreds of marketing graphics, everything you could possibly think of to make stunning opt-in forms and pop-ups. All that remains for you to do now is to look down below the video to see a detailed list of all the features, a recap of what you get and then pick it up at the special one-off launch price. After the launch ends the price will be increasing and it will become a monthly subscription product. So you have a 30 day guarantee to try it out so now is the time to pick it up and best of luck with your list building campaigns. Thanks.